Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video of uh, one of the things that you should check out if you are a little um, weary of your privacy in Windows 10. Some people are. I'm not overly conscious on that personally but you know so depending on what you do with your computer and who you are you might want to um, kind of you know bring down the amount of data that Microsoft actually can receive. Uh, one of the first settings that you should, of course, be checking every time there's a new feature update, and I kind of post a video almost every time to make sure that you understand and see um, how it is. Check your diagnostics and feedback telemetry level. Some people report that sometimes when they actually move to a new version of Windows 10, even though they had scaled back to the minimum amount, it automatically kind of came back to full data and so um, maybe you want to check that out so how to do this you simply go to all settings in the settings you will go into the um, privacy tab and in the privacy diagnostics and feedback now if you're an insider you can't touch this because they are automatically chosen for you but there's basic and there's full so this means you can send a minimum of amount of data and information and of course full is a lot of data is a lot more data you see here it says basic send only uh, info about your device its settings capabilities and whether it's performing properly so error messages will you know go and stuff like that full you have that but you have along with info about the websites you browse how you use apps and features, plus additional information about device health, device activity, and enhanced error reporting. What is the difference is that in the basic form, there's really not much they can really see of what you do most of the time. Remember that this diagnostic is always sent anonymously. That means they can't match what they see with who you are. Some people think that they do but it's been kind of proven that they are not really able to do that. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. You can't turn it off. So this, if that's a problem for you, unfortunately, you can't turn it off. Would there be or should there be a completely off switch? Maybe there should. I don't know. Uh, it depends on everybody. Like I said, I leave it at full on all of my machines. I have no problems with that. I don't really care what they do with the data. You know, they. I... I can't even imagine what could be useful about my, you know, usage of computers. But, you know, some people don't like the fact that they could see things. Where the full data might be, um, I'd say, incriminating. You know, they say they, there's use about websites. They also take, on the full diagnostics, they take actually snapshots of RAM memory when there's a problem. And, of course, that means that everything stored in RAM could technically have personal details in them. So that's where full could be a problem for some so whether you like it or not you will be sending data but at least you got the full or the basic settings that you can change depending on what you want and of course if you were on the basic settings just make sure that you're on the basic settings again when you move on to the uh, April 2019 update of Windows 10 if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching